Welcome to FS17 Lawn Care on the Squirrel Farms map. Today we'll be doing some bat wing mowing at our new commercial property. We'll be making our way over to Lawn Care Shop here in our 2018 Ford F450 Platinum Dually. We'll hop here on the inside. It's going to take a few moments here for this 6.7 liter power stroke to get warmed up and ready to go. But today we'll be using the brand new compact John Deere tractor along with the bat wing mower attachment to mow the racetrack it's a very big commercial property our largest one and we recently just added it here to our uh, fleet of customers so this is going to be pretty exciting first mow at the new contract and this is a year-round thing including snow plowing it and uh, there is a drag strip along with an oval racetrack so there's lots of mowing the bat wing mower makes quite a lot of sense. We are making our way over there to Lawn Care Shop here in the F450 Platinum. I really do like this lot you guys can see we don't have a hitch or a gooseneck hitch on it yet. I haven't towed with it yet. I'm not sure if we will. I want to try to save this truck as much as we can. Maybe put some aftermarket wheels, maybe a 2-3 to three inch lift kit. Let me know your feedback. But I really do like this truck and I want to keep it looking nice as much as we can. And usually when you tow it you do put some wear and tear on the transmission as well so that's one of the reasons why I haven't put a hitch on because I'll be more likely to tow with that but we have arrived here I do apologize for any lag I've been working it out lately but we will be using the F350 uh, Mason dump truck it's a 2017 model year it's a regular cab so we have it all loaded up ready to go for us it's pretty efficient as well here is the setup here for today. It's a XLT regular cab, 6.7 liter power stroke, Mason dump truck, aluminum bed, which is perfect. And you guys can see it will be able to tow this. This is a pretty big uh, load here for today. We definitely need to order a bigger trailer. Probably, I would say, more than likely a 26 foot to 30 foot trailer we need. I might look into taking this trailer and making it longer. I really do like this trailer a lot. Or we could convert one of the trailers from FS15 which I recently did use in a lawn care video throwback and that might work because that's tri-axles it's a little bit longer and wider so let me know if we should do that and I've been getting a lot of positive feedback to do more lawn care more uh, jobs here on the channel so it's going to be pretty exciting and uh, we will be doing lawn care one to two times a week now so we are getting back into it a lot and looks like we have a few problems here this uh, truck does like to scrape a few areas and the mower will be moving around on us just a little bit here today we'll have to work through that as we make our way over to the job site but like I've touched upon we should be getting a new trailer and possibly some new trucks for the series I think that that'll be some good things to do uh, we've been using very similar trucks for quite some time yep uh, it's a quick acceleration there kind of fixed that there but wow this is a very big load you guys can see the back wing John Deere mower as well, the HX15, and that's awesome. So we'll take this uh, right hand turn here. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for all of the continued support here on the daily videos. It's a lot of fun to upload every single day to YouTube, and you guys are the ones that are making it possible. Doing all these videos are lots of fun. I actually started uh, doing lawn care videos all the way back in FS15, and pretty soon, in November 20th, we will be bringing lawn care into the brand new farming center. So that's going to be awesome as well. And we are using this trailer here, which is on console. I really do like it a lot. It works pretty well, but I think we need to get a bigger trailer. I will have some more real life videos coming here on the channel. I've been doing a few with my 2018 Deborah X and the extending of the driveway project, which is coming very close to completion. And the mower is going to slide up on us there just a little bit. I do apologize for that. I really wish we could get chains to chain down the load. Now this, like I've touched upon, this is hours worth of mowing. This is a very, very big contract. I think we'll kind of get started off with a front area of the tracks, and then we'll kind of make our way over there. So we'll kind of uh, get unloaded over here. And there is a few tricks to this mower and to this tractor setup, so we'll have to do those as well. And we'll put the ramps down. No need to kind of have the hazard lights on. Out of the way we are, and there's no event today. And it uh, looks like those ramps uh, need to... Oop. And this is a trick here. So when the ramps don't go down all the way, you just put it in reverse just a little bit. And uh, 
you will do that there. So up next, we'll hop here in this. We have a nice canopy. Maybe, just maybe, we have to get a cabin for us. So we'll get a little bit bigger tractor with a cabin. We might just have to do that because cabins means AC. And it's pretty hot out, 94 degrees here in it farming cylinder so you guys can see we'll get that down and one trick I have seen and I've kind of tested this out a few minutes before recording it is we want a little bit of momentum before we kind of turn on the deck or else it will lose a little bit so there we go guys we have a little bit more momentum just because this mower requires quite a bit of power it you, it drains a lot of the engine so having that momentum before you turn on those blades is pretty important in my opinion to mow at a pretty efficient speed take off this guy's bat wing mower this is a really good mower as well so it will do a nice job We will be coming back at a later time as well to do some weed eating here, but for today, uh, we are just doing the majority of it. we got to keep the grass down, make it look good for all of the racing events, especially since there will be one later on, and uh, that will be pretty cool. So we don't have to go all the way down, they said, just like the main areas, and then the other areas we do every other week. So that's how we'll be doing this property. It's a very big one. They do pay quite a lot since we will also be doing snow removal, and that's one thing that the lawn care company has to get ready for is snow removal, and we got to get plows for all our trucks, everything like that. Now you guys can see this mower here is very efficient and it's a great attachment as well. And uh, we could probably use the John Deere train cut. That will be released probably towards the end of August. And we probably could use that here on this job. But that's really only for like sport fields. And But we could probably try to use it. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to integrate that into more uh, lawn care videos. But for now, uh, we will be using this bat wing. The first time I'm doing... Quite a bit of bat wing mowing in a very long time but you guys can see it does a great job here i really do like it a lot though and you just kind of drive and it's just <laughs> very big and that's helpful though uh, with big commercial properties if you do have any cool video ideas, please let me know down below here in the comments. I've been making some pretty epic videos over the last few months and over the years, and I really do enjoy using your feedback to help improve it. So you guys can drop a like and drop a comment, and I will uh, definitely respond to you guys. Take a look at that, guys. Two passes, and that is quite a lot. Really do like that. And sometimes it turns, it will slow us down. So uh, we will be doing the center of the racetrack uh, at the end of today. And we'll probably just spend the rest of today mowing at here. And I would like to touch upon that we are no longer doing streams on Monday and Wednesday. And we'll be doing Friday for a few more weeks. And then we will be switching to Sunday only streams. And that's going to be a nice time. You guys, a lot more of you will be able to come out to the streams and enjoy them with me live. And possibly play live. And I do have an Xbox One. Currently I do not have a PS4. Might look into that to do some PS4 uh, streams. That would be a pretty nice thing to do to all of those that do have console there. But wow, getting in between trees, you guys can see it's a bit tricky, a bit uh, harder to do. So that's something we uh, will have to consider the next time we kind of bring this out. Maybe, maybe we'll bring the train cup. But for now, you guys can see we actually did lose quite a bit of momentum. And that's kind of why I said we need to running start and since there's no grass here uh, to mow we already mowed this uh we'll get a little bit more momentum before we do this section and i'm not sure if we really do need a bigger tractor maybe we do let me know your feedback and this tractor might not have enough horsepower for us if it's kind of a struggling to get up to speed and also to power this mower I really do like, though, this John Deere uh, wing mower as well, along with this tractor in general. I mean, it's an awesome one. And wow, we didn't lose much momentum. Whoa, we did. You could definitely see it. So once we do this area, we'll go over to the uh, other side of the uh, drag racing side, which is the drag strip. And we'll try to get that done. And the slower speed over here is actually pretty helpful at times. We'll try to go right along this. Yep, very nice job. And we'll have to do lots of weed eating. Like I have touched upon, I am getting a lot more feedback to do more lawn care videos, which is awesome. Lawn care has been around, like I have touched upon, for a very long time, and I can't wait to do more of it. Lawn care is just so nice uh, to just get behind a mower, mower here, and commentate for all of you. 
I actually want to get right up against the building now, and we should be able to turn, get right up again, and one of the big bonuses about the location of this racetrack is there's a fire department right uh, next to it, and that's big, especially when uh, when you are racing at pretty high speeds, uh, things can happen, and it's nice to know that they are right behind or in front of the track. get this little section over here and this is by far the largest commercial property I think it's even bigger than the golf course and it's a bit trickier as well there's a lot more trees and we'll uh, get a little bit more momentum and then we'll come over here now the drag strip shouldn't take too long so we'll try to do a little bit of that as well that's good for that area and I don't think uh, on the way back we'll mow like a pass around there but uh, the last thing we have to do on this side is this little section of the drag strip we just want to keep it mowed down and off and uh, usually nobody should be here but we'll do one uh, pass down and on the other pass we'll come on the other side of the road and this is a very big deck I'm thinking it's upwards of like a hundred inch deck and it's just awesome bat wing mowers I think are very efficient as well uh, you do need a bigger tractor but they they are awesome and I have gotten a few requests on updates about the compact tractors they are currently both in blender I'm trying to kind of figure out all the moving parts for both the uh arms in the backhoe part on the Kubota and on the John Deere I'm just trying to figure out the loader arms as well because I would like to have them disconnectable that way uh, we don't have to have them on and I want three point hitches on both of them so we could put like a mini cultivator or even a small rototiller so I'm trying to work those cool things out that would definitely increase uh, the capabilities and purpose of those tractors to do a little bit of rototill and cool things like that we'll raise up the mower just a little and we'll do one pass going all the way back around that way and uh, that should be good and uh, like I've touched upon they said every other week do it the entire thing but until then it, you could just do little by little We are definitely going a little bit slower here, so we'll back up. We'll get a little bit more momentum. It will pay off here in the long run, and I'm not sure exactly. I might have to look into the horsepower rating of this mower, but it looks like it is just struggling to get up to speed, and that's definitely a little bit faster, so that's helpful. Looks like we are going 12 miles per hour, which is okay here for a mower of this size. And I am currently working on a few problems here about the Square Farms map beta. I will be releasing a version 1 with the new lawn care shop, new Ford dealership, new Ram, and possibly a uh, Nissan and Toyota. As you guys can see, it's just a very big cutting deck, which is awesome. And summer is coming to a close very, very soon, probably within the next month for the majority of us. So I hope you guys have had a great summer and enjoy these last uh, few weeks or last month, depending on where you are. And it should be an awesome uh, fall, though, here for us. I do have a lot of videos related to the fall season as well, which should be pretty cool. But uh, you guys can see we just did this past year, and we'll probably just bring this all the way around. And then it, we got to get started on the racetrack inner circle. That has to be mowed every single week, and that is a pretty big project alone. So we'll probably do that, and we'll just kind of mow down here. So like I have touched upon guys, we are doing one pass here on uh, either side and then every other time we come, we have to actually uh, do the entire thing. So it's nice how we have that set up and I did come a little too close here, that's not the best thing to do. I uh, came too close there to the sidewalk, kind of scraped up our brand new bat wing mower, but I really do like this mower a lot. I mean it's very efficient, it cuts well, great uh, end product on the grass as well. I mean, no scalping, anything like that, because it floats. Now 
We are hitting a few branches here, but that's okay. The canopy is doing a very nice job in general, and that will pretty much be it here for uh, mowing. We'll actually probably go all the way around this. You guys can see they actually do have garages here. I wanted the garages on the inside of uh, the racetrack, but I thought instead, change it up on this one, we'll put them on the outside. It might be a little bit safer since it's a smaller track. It's probably at most a half mile to even a quarter of a mile, so it's a pretty small one, and it's not like the big ones like Daytona, uh, like that. But that's pretty much it here. We'll raise it up, and we'll get started off here on the center, but this center, we will not be able to finish today. I will get started off, do a few passes, and then we'll call it a day. You guys can see I am carrying quite a bit of momentum, which is uh, perfect, but then it slows us back down, and that's okay. And you guys can see some of the grass is dug up, and there's quite a bit of dirt, even some uh, uh, tire tracks. Wow, I definitely some big crashes here, and that's kind of why I decided not to have extra um, buildings here on the inside, and possibly you could probably play soccer, football, even turn this into a multi-purpose uh, stadium. That'll be a pretty cool thing as well. And I think if we did have two bat wing mowers, uh, we would have a lot more done than we would have. And I, we might have to invest in that. So let me know your feedback. Let me know also, should we create a landscaping server where you guys come in and help me out. And we just have our server in general for landscaping. I think that that will be a very interesting thing and cool thing to do here. But I think on the next pass around, uh, we'll head back to a truck, grab our bottle of water, always stay hydrated, and we'll call it a day. We made one complete pass here. I will be continuing to mow here. It's going to be a pretty big mow. Probably an hour to an hour and a half mowing. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's lawn care video on the Square Farms map beta. We'll head back over here to the truck to take a lunch break. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And subscribe for more.